Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about the process of LTI mind tree where designation is Tableau developer and tech stack is Tableau and SQL. So without any further delay, let's move to the process. In this video, we are going to discuss about the process, interview rounds, interview question, tips, and at the end, we will discuss the expected salary. Okay, now let's move to the process. So if I talk about the process, mind tree will take around five to seven working days to complete the process if you are on a notice period okay and if you are not serving notice period that would take around maybe two weeks to complete the process okay so if i talk about the result of interview hr will generally update you in next two three days for the result of your interview okay that is totally depend upon hr to hr okay just this is i'm sharing based on my experience okay next is how to find the jobs of mind tree so first one is nokia.com you will get a lot of calls from mind tree if, if you are serving notice period okay and second one is also my favorite that is linkedin.com i actually got the call through the linkedin for the tablet developer profile okay if i talk about the job opportunity i generally find lta mind tree gives an option of easy apply on the linkedin you can directly apply from there as well okay so this is about the process and how to find the job now let's move to the rounds so my general takes two round and both are technical round okay and the time was for 30 minutes for each round okay and it is a combination of tableau plus sql plus some manageable question in the both round okay and after that there was hr rounds now let's move to the interview questions so these are the questions that were asked to me in round one first and second question were common in every every video okay that i already discussed many times you can check out the previous video for that and third question was asked is are you part of support or development project ye question bhi maine multiple time discuss kiya hai apne previous video mein you can check out how to answer this question okay now move to the tableau question so yahan pe first question mein se puja gaya tha what are the different type of license available in the tableau so this is basically related to the Tableau server ki uspe kon kon se license available hote hain so Tableau offer three type of license that is creator explorer and viewer okay so is pe fir question aaya tha ki what is the difference between creator and explorer license ye bahut hi detail answer ho jata hai but isko main summarize karunga ek jo bahut hi important point hota hai ki creator has all the access he can publish the data source he can create the data source and he can create the dashboard as well and do whatever he wants at the tableau server okay basically he has all the access of tableau server tableau desktop and tableau prep as well okay and if i talk about explorer explorer is also have similar kind of roles and responsibility of creator is my few jo access hote hain wo creator ke paas nahi jo creator pas hote hain wo explorer ke paas nahi hote hain let's say ki he can't publish the data source okay so this kind of small small things few things that explorer license doesn't have okay this is the difference between creator and explorer license so third question was asked it what is analytics pane analytics pane doesn't have any specific definition in the tableau but when you open a tableau desktop there are two tabs one is data where you will see all the data on, on the dimensions and and in the measures okay and another tab is analytics pane where you will find about summarize about models and and about like reference line reference band and what is the total constant line average line you can see trending line okay and the forecasting so these type of features that is available in the analytics pane okay you can explain like that okay next question is what is global filter so global filter is a filter that is applied on the all the sheets of a dashboard okay so this is global filter and this is not present in the order of operation because this is not uh, you can say by default a filter of of the tableau you have to make it okay next question is embedded versus published data source published data source is basically that is published on the tableau server and you can connect it into the tableau desktop and make the dashboard okay Pub uh, benefit of published data source is you can use the same data source into the multiple dashboards okay and embedded data source is basically that we published with the dashboard and the scope of the embedded data source is limited to only that specific dashboard okay this is the difference between embedded and published data source so next question is what is tableau action so tableau offers multiple actions let's say tableau has filter action and highlight actions and go to url go to sheet set parameters and set actions so 
तो दिस काइंड ऑफ एक्शन आर अवेलेबल इन टैब्ल्यू इसके साथ इफ यू कैन गिव वन ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल अबाउट वट काइंड ऑफ एक्शन यू हैव यूज इन टू यूर डैशबोर्ड लाइक लेट से यू हैव यूज फिल्टर एक्शन ओके सो इफ यू गिव एन एग्जाम्पल वेयर यू हैव यूज एंड वट्स वट्स द पर्पज ऑफ यूजिंग द फिल्टर एक्शन दैट दैट वुड गिव एन एडवांटेज एंड गिव ए बेटर रिजल्ट ऑन टू दैट आंसर ओके so next question was asked is have you used table calculation i said yes then uh, the interviewer asked me explain what kind of table calculation you have used okay first thing is if you want you can add the definition of table calculation as well okay table calculation is basically you can say inbuilt feature of the tableau that that is available into the tableau and whenever you use table calculation tableau doesn't create any specific field okay so this is the definition you can give and there are multiple Table calculation available in the tableau that is running total, difference from percent of total, okay, rank, year of year growth. So you can add this thing, and if you want, you can give an example of where you have used running total. What's the use of basically running total, and what's the use of difference from and percent of total? You can explain all of them, okay. the next question was asked is how we can replace constant value in calculation and make it dynamic so this is basically related to the parameter if you know what is parameter parameter is basically used to replace the constant value in the calculation and sets and in the you can say reference line and other things as well okay so the answer is by using parameter we can replace constant value in the calculation and make it dynamic okay so next question was asked is how we can swap the sheets okay for this question i already uploaded a video into the tableau scenario based question series okay you can check out this video i will provide the link of the playlist in the description box okay and next question was is how to find top 1 to 10 टॉप 11 टू 20 एंड अदर कस्टमर एज अदर्स ऑन द पाई चार्ट ये क्वेश्चन भी मैंने उसी प्लेलिस्ट में एक्सप्लेन किया हुआ है आई विल प्रोवाइड द लिंक एंड यू विल गेट द बेटर आइडिया हाउ टू सोल्व दिस क्वेश्चन ओके थर्ड क्वेश्चन इज हाउ टू फाइंड द एवरेज सेल्स ऑफ लास्ट ट्वेल्व मंथ्स सो ये क्वेश्चन भी मैंने एक्सप्लेन किया हुआ है इन द सेम प्ले लिस्ट यू विल फाइंड द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स ओके सो दिस इज द क्वेश्चन दैट वर आस्ट टू मी इन राउंड वन नाउ लेट्स मूव टू द राउंड टू राउंड टू में भी फर्स्ट एंड सेकंड क्वेश्चन वर्क सेम डिस्कशन अबाउट माई सेल्फ एंड वट काइंड ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट आई हैव डन वट इज माई डे टू डे एक्टिविटी ओके एंड फिर उसी पे ही लाइक सम काउंटर क्वेश्चन ऑन ऑन माई वर्क एंड वट काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स आई हैव यूज सम बेसिक क्वेश्चन ऑन दैट एज वेल ओके सो यहाँ पे ये ये डिस्कशन हुआ था फिर पूछा गया था कि वट आर द स्टेप्स टू बिल्ड अ डैशबोर्ड बेसिकली द इंटर वॉन्ट्स नो हाउ आई एम गेटिंग द रिक्वायरमेंट्स एंड हाउ एम I'm processing the requirements and and used the data source into a tableau and how I'm going to create the dashboard. So all kind of things you have to explain step by step. Okay, this is this is already I discussed in in the previous video. You can check out my previous video as well. Okay. So next question, pucha gaya tha ki what was the size of data set that you have used into your dashboard? So I I worked on multiple dashboards. So I gave the maximum number uh, of the size that I used in my dashboard. That was around uh, around seventy million. So I gave that number. So is pe bhi a question aaya tha ki like that then how you handle so much of data? So I'll discuss later in the video. Okay. so next question pucha gaya tha are you working on agile or waterfall cycle so as of now we are working on agile cycle so fir next question aaya tha like how you determine the story point of a dashboard so this is basically not i am the only one who is who is determining dashboard we are just giving assumption like uh, we can complete this work in into like three story point or four story point or five story point as of now like i am working from last five years so i am already aware like how uh, how much time i required to complete this task or this dashboard okay so basically i so basically what we do is we divide the dashboard into the multiple parts let's uh, we need to create the five uh, views into the dashboard so what i did what i do is i basically divide every every view a specific time let's say i can complete this view in, into the three days or four days so this is how we can decide the story point of a dashboard okay now let's move to the tableau questions so first question was asked is what is the difference between logical layer and the physical layer so this is again a very important questions sometimes interview ask what is the difference between join and relationship sometimes interview ask what is the logical layer and physical layer so main difference between that is uh, on the logical layer we perform 
relationship and on the physical layer we, we perform joints and we can say that physical layer is a subset of logical layer okay we can uh, we can drag any of the table into the logical layer and then we can right click on it or and 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 then go to physical layer or we can double click on it then go to the physical layer okay so this is how you can switch between logical layer to physical layer okay so ये क्वेश्चन पूछा गया था व्हेन आई डिस्कस अबाउट द साइज सो व्हेन टैब्लू गोज आउट ऑफ मेमोरी हाउ टू हैंडल दिस सिचुएशन सो देयर आर मल्टीपल वेज टू हैंडल इट फर्स्ट नीड टू चेक आउट लाइक व्हाट इज द साइज एंड एंड व्हाट काइंड ऑफ कैलकुलेशंस वी आर यूजिंग इन द टैब्लू फर्स्ट फर्स्ट थिंग इज वी नीड टू मिनिमाइज द साइज ऑफ द डेटा सेट ओके लेट्स से यू आर यूजिंग डेटा ऑफ फाइव इयर्स बट इन द डैशबोर्ड यू जस्ट रिक्वायर द डेटा ऑफ Current year and last year, or or maybe last to last year, three years. You are having the two years of extra data into your tableau. So first thing is you can minimize that and remove that. Try to minimize and remove that two years of data that that is not required into the tableau. Okay, that will reduce the size of your data set and tableau will will perform better. Okay, and next one is let's say you are using some calculation into the tableau. Okay, and that is basically not optimized and because of it tableau goes out of memory sometimes. So first thing is try to check out the calculation and what kind of logics and and what kind of data sets you what kind of uh, not data set data types you have used that so just try to optimize that, that calculation so that tableau took very less memory to process the data and what you can do is let's say some of the calculations you you can create at the back end side as well so so that tableau can directly load the data and try to process the data from that build okay so this is how you can answer this question so next question was asked is like explain some of the kpis that you have used in your project so as i, I already worked on the multiple domains so i gave the domain specific kpis and explain them why why we are using and what's the use of that okay so you can uh, answer it according to your uh, you can say work or your domain your projects okay explain it very properly okay so next question was asked is explain one of your complex project ye bhi maine multiple time apni previous video mein discuss kiya hua hai you can check out the previous videos of mine and where you will find the answer how to answer this question okay so these are the question that from the tableau and the next question was related to like why you are looking for the switch iske liye bhi you should not like the bad thing about your current company or your previous company maybe okay so just give uh, uh, you can say hypothetical or like standard answer for that so that it looks very nice like you love your current company as well but you look for your future as well okay so this is how you can answer this and next question was like what is your notice period that time my notice period was around 15 days okay so because i already serving serving the notice period so, uh, so so that's why my official notice period was 90 days okay so third question is jo isse pucha gaya tha if you get a chance to work on on the other tool except tableau are you open to work i already discussed this question multiple times don't say no to any of the tools because interview just want to test yourself ki if you are open to other tool or not so always say yes because at then all the tools are bi tools okay so if you whether you are working on the tableau you are working on the power bi you work on the click sense at the end the logic logic behind all the bi tool is same you have to just build the dashboard you have to just learn learn the things from here and there and that that will take around one or two months maybe to to get all the things clear but your basic should be clear why you are building the dashboard and what kind of things requirement from that okay so always say yes for that so these are the questions that were asked to me in round 2 so after that i uh, got a call from hr to discuss about my salary negotiation and all kind of things okay so these are the interview question that were asked to me from round round 1 round 2 and then from hrs okay now let's discuss about the tips the tips for this video is update your nokri profile regularly why i am saying this if you are updating your nokri profile daily the chance of getting the calls will be more you can update your resume on a daily basis or you can update your salary expectation current salary years of experience just made a slight change on that and and you will be sorted for that okay so this is the tips for this video now let's move to the expected salary so when i give the interview for the lti mind tree so that time my experience was around 4 years okay 
so that's why i'm giving the range of 3 to 5 years so the salary range would be 12 to 15 lp between that you can expect from and that is basically totally depends upon your negotiation skills and and the number of uh, offer letter you are holding in your hand so but i'm giving a general bracket that is 12 to 15 lp for 3 to 5 years of experience range okay I, I think that's it for this video thank you so much guys if you like the video please do like share and subscribe and if you have any question and concern please reach out to me on my email and you can reach out to me on the linkedin as well i'm always happy to help and thank you so much stay tuned